Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Uh, someone has asked about our luminous mask setup and um, can we use it with Lux? Yes, we can use it with Lux. And uh, here is the rig. So we're going to discuss about it. So before everything else, um, if you are if you have not uh, seen the previous tutorial about baking these luminous mask, then uh, the link will be in the description and I'll also I'm going to attach it here for the convenience by the way you can use it with cycle and EV as well so let's see the Lux version here and uh, uh, here it is something like this okay you can use this setup here also let's see the rotation let's see some color rotation here okay so we can use it like that and here is uh, lead version all right so let's see how to use it but before everything else I'm going to attach uh, the baking setup here as well for your convenience and then we're going to come back to the Lux all right first of all let's understand what is this translucency mask system is it is basically an approximation mask where we are telling our engine that how much thick this geometry could be so you can actually draw your stuff as well um, yeah so by this thing what we can do is basically we can create a mask a very effective mask to tell how much thick this stuff and how much scattering it should have and how much translucency it should have in uh, subsurface setup so yeah you can see that here let me show you you can drive your mask you can also drive your color as well okay so that's how we can work with it uh, pretty much uh, um, uh, you know inexpensive way rather than using uh, volumetric stuff you know volumetric uh, engines and stuff like that we can tell it very easily here so uh, it is used in industry as well in game engines and uh, also we have seen it in uh, ray trace engine as well so yeah pretty nice stuff pretty good stuff um, and yeah okay so let's make one Let's create this mask, select this, let's create a new material called SSS and we're going to create an uh, ambient occlusion map here, okay. We're going to change the render engine to cycle, Sync device CPU and let's go here, okay. Press Ctrl Shift to see the AO here and go to the insight and go for only local. So we're going to change the distance here okay press shift to you know go for granular setting and uh, yeah let's talk about this thing so the black part will become the most uh, you know luminance so what we're seeing that uh, this is good yeah so this will get the most luminance here so 0 0.03 is good for this particular object okay we can also uh, plug a normal map so fortunately we have a normal map so let's go to the image texture here and let's open this normal map here this should be a non-color and uh, we can give it a normal map there we go and let's connect it to the normal map so now we will have a normal map here as well good okay so now what we're going to do is basically we're going for a sample let's make some bigger sample here and uh, now we're going for an image editor here let's go for an image editor we're going to create a new let's make it uh, luminance uh, loom mask here okay and we're going to give it uh, 4k here up to you so press in, go to the image and we're going for a color space of linear as well here. Okay, so let's import it. So here, image texture and we're going for luminance loom mask here. Okay, all right, so now let's go to the sampling setup and we're going to use a uh, two sample or let's make it three, okay and other things are fine so let's go to the back section and uh, we're going for emit 
and other things are fine so let's select it let's select this and uh, let's back it okay the back is done so let's save it image save and we're going to name it Lumask. so let's use RGB here and other things are fine so let's save that image as well here okay so let's change it to linear there we go so now we're going to use it so after baking it just go to cycle and lock solve okay render engine let's check the render let's select this and let's create a new material here um, by the way the setup is uh, we are using an HDRI and we're using a sun lamp here as well okay basic so now let's go to this and we're going to create a new suppose SSS Lux2 something like that okay and uh, now let's include this guy and we're going to use uh, Disney sh uh, not Disney uh, sorry we're going to use a uh, glossy translucent this one okay very powerful node very powerful node system and very powerful material as well so okay so now let's create uh, the basic images here so let's open the diffuse uh, gamma 2.2 and then shift D let's create the normal map here and let's check the normal okay and uh, yeah let's connect the bump and let's connect the diffuse okay so now let's go for shift D and we're going for our there we go uh, the lumin luminous mask here gamma 1 that is a linear image okay and uh, let's talk about the roughness first so let's do a good roughness there we go okay let's go here okay and um, first thing first is transmission color and diffuse color so first let's do a uh, band note uh, I mean ramp note and let's see it here this is the lamp uh, ramp note um, and cubic okay and then we're going for oh by the way uh, I'm using the daily build version here uh, and the, in the daily build version you will get these emission shutter and you can check uh, stuff like that so it is coming it is coming to Lux okay so uh, now let's create a um, multiply node that means the color color math and in this color math what we're going to do is basically we're going to connect this albedo here we're going to check multiply and this will become our blood version here okay so I'm just going to give it our um, point to five and uh, sorry g.35 and b.2 r1.35 and b2 okay and now what we're going to do is basically we're going to create a vector color vector math here and we're going to connect these vector math with this multiply here okay so now we're getting this so now what we can do is basically connect this input to transmission so let's see it here okay so actually that is it nothing else and now we need to do one stuff that is vector and go to the vector math and connect to the diffuse map which is actually the diffuse color here we have to do one thing that uh, this is diffuse this diffuse color is basically called the reflectance and the transmission is transmission so in math what we need to do is basically the reflectance should be lower than the transmission color otherwise the transmission will not work so that's why we are going for a 0 0.5 0 0.5 will give it a darkening value okay so if we go to 1 you can see this you can go to 0.5 
you give it something like this all right that's it and we can use IOR here as well so yeah and now uh, it is all about tweaking your stuff so let's go to this is going to be black and that means we're going to reverse the inverse setup here so this is white and this is black now we are seeing our stuff here as usual and we can use the offset okay something like that um, we can use this one for valuation what we can do is basically we can use this to create the value okay and this to create the value as well okay so but if all this one looks pretty good to me so here it is and the color the blood color vein color whatever you want to say you can use it like that as well so for me this was working really good so here it is so we can use some offset value here so suppose uh, 0.23 something like that where is in cubic by the way and offset here is 0.62 I was testing earlier and uh, this setup is working really nice here okay so that's how you can work with it all right so let's test it and let's see and for the roughness you can use you know uh, the sweat here sweat sweat values here so I'm just going to use something like point uh, 0.15 or something like that okay so to create a good value here and uh, yeah so let's see this is the axis here let's see a big picture here so we are seeing these nice luminance here as well okay you can see it here okay nice luminance okay so yeah and that's how we can work with it pretty nicely easily yeah oh by the way uh, if you want to see the cycle version and uh, the EV version the link will be in the description all right that's it I'm father Samputik from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye